What's up, guys? It's your boy Perry Ump on this, and today I'll be talking about um my new EP that I just released, Love and Memories. So keep it locked down. Okay, first of all, um, why the name Love and Memories? A lot of people have been asking, why did you choose Love and Memories for? <laughs> Let me tell you why. Two reasons. Mm, about my love life and um, memories I've been through. Yeah, and also I want you as you're listening to the songs on this EP. You should feel love and also make memories with the person you like, the person you love, or the people you're around with. So that's the idea behind the title, Love and Memories. That's why all the songs on the EP talks about love and memories, yeah. So straight to the first song on the EP, 1942. Before then, um, actually, we had different songs on the EP. We had eight songs on the EP. The, all of them were different, but... Baggy Jobax told me, ah, we are going to change all these songs on this EP. I was like, please, let's not change it. Me, I don't have time to start recording and thinking through everything again. So please, guys, please, let's just leave it at, the, at this. He was like, but I'll still, we'll still record songs. I said, okay, no problem. Yeah, he called me. This was the second time he was calling me in the morning. He was like, oh, Alpha, I'm ready for you. I was like, I just woke up in the morning. What do you want me to come and sing? Like, oh, yeah. just come to the studio. We'll think of something. And I came around 9, 10 in the morning because I really love staying in the studio. And I said, okay, listen to the beat. I was like, I like the beat too, but this is not my kind of vibe. What do you want me to do? I was like, I want to remove you from your comfort zone. So I want you to sing something out of the box, what you, you do is to do. So we thought through the process together and we came up with 1942. And um, when we finished the song, he now asked me, why are you using 1942? And I told him, Okay, because we didn't even go me, I never know this. I never knew that that was like that was when they had the Second World War. And I now checked and it was like it was a coincidence. So we checked and we thought about the idea about the song, the lyrics and it all collided with all what we wanted. So nineteen forty two came out of nowhere. It was a very hard song for me to record because that's not my kind of vibe, but personally, I won't say I didn't like the song, I love the song, but the way people accepted the songs, like my friends, when they listened to the song, it made me to like the song more. That's why I vibe to the song more. And there are some hidden lyrics in that song that a lot of people don't really understand. When I talked about, she used to call me a big head until she gave me a big head. That was, that's my friend's story. That's not my story, actually. Because someone's asking me, why did you say that? Why did you say that? Please, it's not me. It's my friend that said it. Yeah, so I would like you to listen to the song now. And I also said something about... Um, um, DJ Big N, but I know you didn't hear it, and I said something like, when you are big, you're bigger, big. that is DJ Big N's, what's it called, watermark or trademark, that's what you always say, so I said it. Listen to it, pay attention to the backup, and you listen, you hear that. I also said, pata pata, give you loving, pata pata. I said that in phone, it's always, it's the, it means it's pata pata, when you mean pata pata, it's an Nigerian word, when you say, I'm, giving, I'm going to give you love, every love that you want, all the love that I have, totally. So that's the meaning of patak pata. And I also said, I would I know go do you like I be Jojo Kocha. People was like, why are you using Jojo Kocha? And the Jojo Kocha is a player. I'm not gonna play you like a player. And Jojo Kocha has skills. She understand that is the lyrics, that's the hidden meaning around those two words. And other words, you have to do the scrabble by yourself to unravel it. So um listen to the song right now, it's gonna play. So you vibe to it. Cheers.